Rise and shine, everyone. It is 5.25 a.m. It is day 12 of interrailing as much as we can of Europe in 30 days. We are leaving Prague right now and we are heading to the train station to catch a train to Berlin. You're going to have to bear with us this morning because it is super early and we are both going to be really tired. We've got about a half hour walk to the train station before the train leaves. We are wearing a little bit warmer clothes today because it is supposed to be 13 degrees. Yeah, this is definitely the coldest we've experienced so far on our trip. Also, look how cool the sky looks. I think everyone's had the same idea as us, has got up really early to get to Berlin because it is rammed here. Two hours into this journey, we've got two hours left. Probably one of the comfier trains we've been on so far. The aircon's working, the curtains are closed, the lights are off. We're just kind of closing our eyes, trying to get some rest. Yeah, two hours left. Kelsey's enjoying her yogurt. We've just arrived in Berlin and it is busy here. There is loads of people. So many backpackers on our train as well. I'm surprised we got a seat on our train. It's that busy. It was probably one of the best train rides we've had to be yeah. fair. Yeah. There was well aircon. There was two spare seats in our carriage. And they had plugs to charge your phones. And it was really comfy. Yeah. The only issue with the train, the Wi-Fi wasn't working and we didn't really have any signals. So we don't really know where anything is in Berlin because that was our plan to do on the train. So we're going to find a park or something and we're going to eat some fruit, have some breakfast and then figure out what there is to do here. Just sat along the river opposite the train station. We're just gonna have our lunch now. We just picked up some rolls and some fruit from the shop yesterday. We know what we want to see. We just need to figure out a route of how we're gonna see it and then we'll get back to you with a game plan. Okay, we've come up with a game plan. Step number one, we've got five landmarks to see in the city. We're both quite interested in the history of the war and some of those landmarks seem to revolve around the history of the war here in Berlin. So that's what we're gonna do first. Step number two, we said at the start of this trip that we wanted to try a local cuisine in each country. We've been slacking on that recently, so we're gonna get back to that today and we're gonna head to find one of the most popular dishes here in Berlin. And finally, step number three, as we have been in Germany already this trip, we're not going to be staying here in Berlin tonight. We are going to be leaving via the overnight train to a brand new country, which also doubles up as our accommodation. Free accommodation, free accommodation. Let's go. We're at our first stop. It's the Reichstag building, which is the parliament building here in Berlin. It was also the parliament building back in the war, but it's been restored since, because obviously it was probably destroyed. It's a very impressive building, to be fair. This area here has given me like the grass outside the Eiffel Tower vibes. There's a couple of people chilling out around the place and I think that's why. Yeah, also there's some music and sounds like an ice cream van. <laughs> We're going to head to the building and see if we can get inside. You're not allowed to film so we're not going in. The next stop's really close to the Reichstag so it shouldn't take too long to get there. We're at the Brandenburg Gate now. Fun fact, before the Berlin Wall was knocked down, the East and the West Germans couldn't actually visit this gate, so now this gate is known as a unity of Germany when the Berlin Wall got knocked down. It's way bigger than I thought it was. It's ginormous. You know when you see pictures of it online, it doesn't really look that big, does it? No, it is huge. It looks small now because we're so close to the camera, but we're going to walk through it to head to the next place and we'll show you it then. Look how big it is. It's massive. It's definitely really touristy though, there's a lot of people about. But I think it is Berlin's number one landmark, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. There wasn't too many people about though, like there was enough room because it's so big, you can easily like get a picture and take a video without people being in the way. Our next stop is conveniently located right next to the Brandenburg Gate. So we're gonna head there straight away. We've come to the memorial for the murdered Jews of Eura. It's meant to be quite like an eerie memorial, but we've seen kids running and jumping across them all, which is very disrespectful in our opinion. It is. I don't know why parents don't teach their kids these things. We're going to take a walk through and check it out. You can definitely see what people mean when they say it's really eerie. When you're inside, it almost doesn't feel like you're in a city anymore. It feels like another world almost. We've got another stop which isn't too far away, but it is a bit of a walk, so... Let's go. How cool is the traffic light system here in Berlin? It's like a little man walking and then when it's red, it's a little man standing still. He's a little hat on. Like this, to a red man. Green man. Red man. Green man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We're at another famous landmark now, it's called Checkpoint Charlie and it's the most well-known crossing between the east and the west of Berlin during the Cold War. Fun fact. I've also come to realise how weird sightseeing is. You literally turn up, see a, you see the site and then, yeah. and then you just leave. Oh, okay, that was nice. Bye. Sometimes you're there for like not even a minute, maybe have a photo, maybe not, mm -hmm. and then just move on to the next one. <laughs> That wasn't really much of a landmark or anything cool to experience. I think it's just something you've got to come and see when you're in Germany. So, yeah. <laughs> in Germany or in Berlin. We've got quite a bit of a walk to our next stop, but I'm feeling quite refreshed considering it's day 12. Yeah. And we've been moving very fast paced. We picked up something. And we had these when we came to Germany before, and they're absolutely delicious. It's like a minced meat in like filo pastry. I haven't got a clue what this space needle looking thing is, but it looks pretty cool. I wonder if you can go up it. Maybe. Okay, after about a two and a half mile walk, we made it to the East Side Gallery, which is the longest part of the Berlin Wall is still intact and it's covered with the graffiti. So we're gonna take a walk down and check out the graffiti. Oh, I talented graffiti too. Yeah, it's more like art, proper art. Yeah, then it is just graffiti you'd find someone's just scribbled on a wall. Thoughts on the wall real quick. Uh, I think it's hard to picture what it would have been like back in the day because obviously the artwork that's on there now wouldn't have been on there because on the east side they were prohibited to go near the wall whereas on the west side there was graffiti on the wall. I think it's a cool way of making it into an actual landmark where people actually come and visit and sort of like remembrance that way I guess. Yeah because I don't think a lot of people would come to see it if the graffiti wasn't there so it is a way of getting people more people here. It is really cool and it's like each section is like really unique as well and it stretches for miles. It does. Well it's not miles but like it feels, it feels like, like miles. miles. Some of the artwork as well is literally incredible. It amazes me how someone can paint down a wall. We've come to a shopping mall called Alexa Shopping Mall and it's quite close to the centre. It's pretty nice. We're looking for toilets, that's why we've come in here. What's going on in Germany? Why have you got to pay for the toilets everywhere? Paying to pee is one of the worst things in the world. It should not happen. But we don't carry cash either, so... And we haven't needed cash for anything else. Other than we, the toilets in Germany. Other than pee it. We came to the food court to use the toilet, so we still had to pay, but we just walked straight past it without no, saying anything. No, I read the sign and it said it's recommended to pay. So we just didn't take on the recommendation. It's currently four o'clock. We're looking for somewhere to eat now, and then we're going to head there. German food. German food. We've come to a place called Curry and Burger to get some snitchel. We were going to get some brassicas off then with them, but they were all out of that, which is like a fried potato, bacon, and onion sort of mix. So we've just got chips and we've got the pork snitchel. Mm. Good. Yeah, it's not thick. Physically, I'm thicker. There you go, do you want to try? <laughs> Pork good. That food is really good, but our phones and the GoPro are almost dead, so we need to find somewhere to charge them. So we're going to head to the train station and see if we can find somewhere to hunker down for a little bit. That's the only bad thing about getting it all when I train. You need to make sure everything's charged because you're never guaranteed to have a charger on the train. We've been walking around for about 20 minutes now looking for somewhere to charge our phones in the train station. McDonald's doesn't have any plugs. Subway doesn't have any plugs. We've tried to find plugs dotted around next to like seats and stuff. None at all anywhere. We've even noticed that they've covered sockets up with like... A lot. A lot, yeah. So they clearly don't want people to charge their phones for free, yeah? I don't get it. So in Germany, you can't pee for free and you can't charge your phones. No good. No bueno. We have success. We have found a plug just under here. We're in some little cafe sort of thing. But yeah, really happy that we've managed to find somewhere, to be honest. Feel a bit tired now as well. Opinions on Berlin. We're doing so many steps. I've got holes in my shoes. I think we're going to need to pick up some new ones soon. 
We've literally, I literally bought these to come on this trip. We're on our train now. Seats are pretty comfy. Got a little cushion thing. Plug. Table. We made it to Frankfurt. This is where we get our connecting train. The time is currently half past two. The train's at three o'clock. We'll see you in the morning for day 13. New country.